we need to create a oh another scout scout and we're burning 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 hello and welcome back to another modded minecraft we are going to try to create a uh, what are they called <laughs> uh, with a skeleton farm first thing I'm going to do is this that's right, I broke it. Why? Because, one, we have our blaze farm over there. Two, the thing is just going to be annoying because it doesn't stop due to magma torches. So we can't kill the spawns without uh, a lot of glowstone and everything. But... The nether, wither, nether, <laughs> nether fortress farm slash with a skeleton farm should have enough blazes spawning that if we need a few extra blaze rods, it should produce it. Mm, whoops, didn't want to do that. Now, these dogs are going to be an issue because they don't get stopped by the magma torches either but we plan on adding them into our farm and we just hope we don't come across any too powerful because i have come across life leech ones and shield ones like that reflective ones that do the damage back to me and all that fun stuff but this uh crossroad i'm going to slab the area probably off camera using the exchange gadget i cleared out a lot of area using mining gadget i use probably mm, what i have left mm, seven million power to clear out the area already so a lot of blocks have disappeared but it's a 19 by 19 by 11 spawning area that's what the crossroads are so first thing we need to do is clear out some of this figure out where the 19 by 19 is and go from there so I'll get that started and be right back Okay, this is 19 by 19. Now we can go up after three blocks because obviously with the skeletons are three blocks tall. Create another platform and I believe one platform down, leaving three blocks obviously. As you can see, I need to clear out more area afterwards because this big mountain a wee bit too close but it might help us actually get lower and make it a bit easier to build so we'll look at the bright side not the negative whoa I was hoping the tower was actually right there Um, because <laughs> how else we are going to use vector plates and we're going to make them go whoosh, 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 whoosh. Make them all fall down. And, I don't know, about a three by three hole. And I highly doubt our little building gadget can actually reach the... Oh, it can. Okay. So, this is the middle. Must remember that is the middle. If we lose where the middle is, we do risk wrecking the farm. It will still work. Well, it should do anyway. But we risk reducing the spawns. Now, how best? I think this might be the best way. Try to get it to come up to us. This block, please. What? 
Uh, and there's nothing under us. I wonder if I got sand. Of course. I put everything away. We have gravel. Stack of gravel. Should, yes. Let's do this until it comes up to see us. Or, if we're lucky, the building gadget can now build up. No, too far away. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. We'll just keep doing this. Apparently we could do it. I just wasn't doing it properly. I must have been holding shift before. But we do need to do it here. Because we can't see that side. But fingers off shift. In a second. And carefully clear out this. Go over here. Nope. There. No. Oh. I thought I walked too far then. Okay. That's how I'm going to do it. And then we'll end up with a big channel. So, be back when I've done that. Okay, as you can see, we got a massive drop shoot. Now, as I said, we need three blocks down. Yes, we're going to waste a couple of resources. But it will. Now, for safety wise, drop down. Now, clear out here and then add another platform. I'm sure everyone doesn't want to watch me do that. So, I'll be back when I'm finished. Back, and I did both upper and lower level. And yeah, this thing does need to go, or at least a big portion of it, because it ate into it. These guys are right there, and yeah, not ideal. Now, I want to not die by placing vector plates because if we place them and fall in got a good chance of dying so I think for the time being at least we shall cover up this hole Ooh. I thought I made sure they couldn't get across What was that? One of the dogs, obviously. And... No, I did. Did a very bad job at stopping them coming across, didn't I? Oh well. That's why we need to slab the area. Whoa. Oh. Get lost. There's no way that guy knows where we are. Is there a... Adaptable. That does not say creeper. So I don't know what that means. Is it just random mob sounds now? Well, that's going to be annoying. Oh well, let's get on with it. Okay, we're going to... I brought some...
That's gonna scare me every two seconds. I brought some glass. Clearly not enough. I underestimated the resources required. Clearly. But the principle of it will be glass all around. We can see the mob spawning and all that. So. No, I won't bother with glass right now. I'll do vector plates. Put the glass away. Put all this rubbish away. And grab what clearly won't be enough of these either. Now, unfortunately, I think these have to be placed facing the... Yeah. So we're just going to do this as much as we can. Uh, what you, uh, and corners. We'll have to switch from... Woo! <laughs> So yeah, I'll go around and try not to die. Yeah, as you can see, ran out of the red ones, obviously. Because underestimated how many I would need. Went back, grabbed some green ones. This whole inventory gaps was full of them. So... You can see how many was actually required. But. Mm, if I can get up. And take away the safety layer. Whoops. Can we fix that? And the answer would be yes. Now, we add a safety layer at a cobblestone here so we can get our torch back. And break that. Now, we may be in some trouble, although the magma torches seem not to be working at, well, got magma cubes, that's not what we we're after, but yes, as you can see, the magma torches seem to have stopped working. I'm not sure whether it's just a bit bugged out, I need to place and replace maybe. Not sure on the distances, so we may have to adjust the magma torches until we find that we're spawning everything we want. Oop. Whoa, no, no, no. Go away. We have a zombified pigman. What we want to see is actually some... Oh, I didn't know that. But you might have just seen that. That, that was a skeleton. These guys have been a pain in the backside. They've been finding ways on and jumping me. But if we can try and get a good seat for it, we hopefully will be able to see some wither skeletons spawning. Because clearly, at least one of the torches is far enough away. Now, I'll just... What the... Is that a magma cube flying through the air? 
There we go, a weather skeleton up top. Not on the vector plate, but that's fine. We're getting spawns there. That is what we want. Now, I'll put up the ren... Ooh. Oh, that guy can see us. We're going to be burnt. Yeah, I saw ya. Yeah, I'll put up the render distance so we can see better. Okay, got it on. 20 chunks. Mm, what was my sim distance? All the way down at 5. Okay. Do we want 12 or 8? We'll go 8. 10? Okay, 10. You convince me. We'll go 10. Now, we should have a bunch of mobs spawning around. There we go. There's some folk pickling. Obviously not very fast going to his death. Well, he's not even going to die. They're going to stay down there. <laughs> he's going to have a lot loot. The magma cubes go quickly. But as you can see, the principle works. And don't like them. And don't like you. Okay, you just need to create about 50,000 more vector plates and make them go zoom, 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 all the way down to a, probably a slime block set up because a 24 block drop will probably kill the skeleton because I'm pretty sure he's got, oh yep, where the skeleton just spawned and that sounded like it was going to kill us. Might have just been the magma cube. But yeah, I got a slab there, obviously. So we don't get all the spawns outside the farm. But we successfully built the farm. Now, how about we risk dying? We'll put it on heal. I have dispel on my heal spell as well. Now, we want to try and do this without getting killed by blazers. Or anything else, but... Uh, heal, heal, heal. Whoa! Levitate! This might have been a bad idea. This is definitely a bad idea. Heal. Levitate. And I don't have a bow because when I was creating something a couple of episodes ago. Oh. Shot me midair. It used it as the dispenser ingredient and I didn't catch it before I said okay so we need to create a oh another scalp scalp and we're burning 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 As you can see, the Wither Skeleton slash Nether Fortress farm works quite well. And we can only make it better, really. So, that is one great success. And you want. Oh, seriously? Oh, okay, we're, we're gone. We're out of food, so we can't run. We've got everything around us. We're just going to have to heal and run, heal and run. 
Where's that dog? Yeah. Don't like it back to you, do you? Okay, we... That is very successful. The right linking piece of paper allow us to trans-dimensionally send power. But this is a great success episode. It's taken me probably an hour and a half to do all that. An hour minimum. Beforehand, probably two hours. So if you're going to do this, do not have anything planned for your day. But it is worth it. We have two skulls already and that was by hand. Just smacking them around. So I'll do this off camera. Probably die. If I die, I'll let you know. I won't hide it. It's what how we do things. But until then, bye! Raw!